My daughter Nikki just bought this 6x10 Easy Hauler all aluminum cargo trailer. And we just want to show you a little bit about what goes into uh, starting out uh, to finish one off as make it into a little camper. Number one, remove all the paneling. Go get that seating panel off of there too, That's so we can insulate it. Getting the paneling off is pretty straightforward. Just mark them all real carefully so you know where they go when you put them back up again. Of course, you want to not only insulate the walls and the ceiling, you want to insulate the doors and the floor. You guys, this videoing is hard. I'm getting tired. Are you guys almost done? Yeah. <laughs> when you're buying a cargo trailer, one thing to look for when you're looking at it on the lot is things like the quality of the welds. These are things that you can easily see. Make sure they're not all splotchy and that they're nice, even, well done welds. Get underneath the trailer and look at those welds too. You can see that they sealed this up. All very neatly trimmed. The quality of the hardware says a lot too. Heavy duty hinges. Even some stainless steel hardware. Oh, we took this one off. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's all right. One thing that you're not going to see until you get the paneling off is the wiring. And uh, this one, I was pleased. It's all, all the wiring is secured. Good enough anyway. So it's not loose. All the wiring is nicely attached. Properly grounded. Of course, you're not going to see that when you are looking at the trailer on the lot. The thing that amazed us is very few of these cargo trailers come with an overhead with overhead paneling and this one did. We're just getting ready to drop this down too. I don't have to do that job. Because <laughs> I'm short. Yes! So, let me see. Nikki, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your new uh, cargo trailer conversion well, job? Well, I'm happy that it came with the, all the things Dad said that his didn't come with, like this having the ceiling panels already and Everything looks really good. We were lucky to get it for quite a steal and it was brand new, so I'm, I'm excited. It'll be a long process though, but fun. Yeah, that's a lot better. I, I think those finishing strips are glued up there, or taped up there. It's got a... It's got a connector on there. I might be able to do that too. Nice, nice and tight. That's good. No air gaps. Okay. What are you guys doing? We're camper. We're singing. Oh. 
wheels on the bus go round and round. Me and Dusty are staying out of the way. Hello, Ricky. Hey. You guys realize you're not all going to fit in here, don't you? <laughs> this is just for me. I don't know what they think they're doing. Of course, now's the time to think about doing whatever wiring you're going to do. Now, this trailer, we're not uh, doing any 110 on it because uh, it does it won't get plugged in at uh, campsites or anything. Whenever uh, people buy these cargo trailers, the first thing on their mind is getting the installation in, in and it really isn't difficult. Uh, we just cut it with cut the styrofoam insulation with box cutters and just uh, uh, broke it like you would a piece of sheetrock where you score the back and then you and then you snap it and we just do the same thing with the styrofoam. Uh, this trailer took an inch and a half. The, the beams in the ceiling are inch and a half so we got inch and a half insulation in the ceiling and the frames on the walls are one inch so it's got one inch insulation in the walls. And uh, of course, we'll be insulating the floor too from underneath. I uh, will show you that also. Next step is to take foil tape and seal up all the joints. This is the kind of tape I'm talking about. It's got a, a, a paper backing that peels off. It sticks really well. It's also got a layer of uh, uh, like mylar in it or plastic in it, not mylar, but plastic in it. It's strong enough. Really easy to use, cost about $7 a roll, $8 a roll. And your trailer will probably take, this six, excuse me, this six by 10 trailer is probably gonna take two rolls. What you wanna tape up is all the gaps everywhere, uh, all the edges, everywhere that you can possibly seal up, including the joint up on top, just tape it as best you can. What you're trying to do is to seal up any moisture that from the inside of the trailer to keep it from getting to the skin of the trailer. Because you know, while you're inside here, like says, let's say on a cold day, you're gonna ex your body is exuding moisture, you're breathing out uh, condensation, and you don't want that to form on the inside of the outer trailer skin. So you don't want to get uh, humidity forming underneath these foam panels. So by taping up all the joints, you'll be, you'll be uh, eliminating uh, most of that. Now I see people asking over and over again online, do you put the shiny side in or the shiny side out? There's probably a lot of opinions on this. Number one, this is not a house. On houses, they usually put the shiny side in to reflect the heat in. Here in Montana, we put the shiny side in, once again, to reflect the heat in. But you know what? If I was living in a hot climate, I'd be tempted, in fact, I would just put the shiny side out to reflect the heat back out. You may have your own opinion on that. Um, that's just mine. The taping of the seams is almost done. The next thing we gotta do is back it up into the driveway where it's a little cleaner so we can insulate underneath. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How is your experience with this project so far? It's been good so far. We have lots of help and awesome teamwork because we're a family and we're used to working together. So how is your experience with this project so far, sir? Well, I'm experiencing from the car it from the comfort of my living room and I think it's going very well. <laughs> Actually, my job is coming up a little later. That's when we insulate the underside of the trailer, and I can I think it's going to be me crawling under there. Me and your mama. <laughs> we'll get her done. Hello. What do you have to say about this? I don't know. I'm snowing. I mean, it's not a, is there white stuff all stuck in here? I'm being abused. How do you think this project's going so far? Going good. Perfect. Whole family working. <laughs> well, we're doing the underside insulation. We're insulating with, with uh, one inch and we're putting the foil side in. 
The main thing that holds this insulation up is um, a foam board adhesive in interior exterior. And we're also using uh, one and a quarter inch screws with fender washers just to kind of help hold them until the adhesive drives. The adhesive is going to be the main thing. If you're wondering how this uh, foam board holds up underneath the trailer, um, watch, look at this. What you're looking at here is the underside of my 6x10 cargo trailer. And this foam board was put up here uh, years ago, like five years ago. And the only thing that you can see is that there's dings in it from probably from gravel, going down gravel roads and everything. But basically, there's nothing that really affects it down here. It's staying up in here just fine. Did you take another <laughs> picture of yourself yes. or video of yourself? I had the camera turned around. <laughs> 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 and I was going to tease you for slacking on the job because you're just laying <laughs> under the trailer. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it's nice when you got so much help because some people will be running for uh, adhesive and screws and things like that while the others stay back and are cutting pieces and fitting and it's been going really good. Well, it's all insulated top and bottom. Yeah, that's, that's the hard part right there. You bet. And we've got some of the paneling going back in, but we left paneling off where the windows go on both sides. And we've got to do some vent work up here in the uh, upper left corner. But uh, pretty good day's work today. This is two days now. <laughs>